Hey everybody, thank you for uh, joining me uh, to, on this call. Uh, today I will be talking with uh, uh, Maître uh, Christina uh, Diray, who is a uh, notary in the West Island. Uh, she's been self-employed since 2016. She does uh, residential sales, refinances, uh, wills, mandates, uh, power of attorneys, and successions. Uh, and um, and now with everything that's happening, uh, especially in real estate, so I wanted to speak to an expert who's going to give us a little bit of our insight uh, on uh, what's the current status with notaries. So, Christina, thank you so much for uh, joining us. My pleasure. So originally, uh, notaries were not considered an essential service, and then the government uh, changed that. Uh, in your opinion, what happened for the government to, to make uh, you know, a different decision? It all happened pretty quickly, uh, within 24 hours. I think some notaries had uh, something to say when we weren't on the list. I wasn't clear because the movers were on the list as well, so we were wondering why movers were essential but without signing the deed then you know you can't move mm -hmm. um so i think the government realized the reper re repercussions for us not being essential uh, what it may cause at first i was a bit relieved because i figured it would be good for all of our safeties to stay home and if you're not selling you're not buying so everyone would have been on a, on a standstill but then you think about people who are renting yeah. Uh, they would be left out on the streets. So if uh, their rent was gone, also a colleague of mine, his client uh, was selling in the province of Quebec and was purchasing in Ontario and the lawyers yeah. in Ontario were still working. So he wouldn't have been able to purchase without a sale here. I think it would have caused a lot of problems if we weren't deemed essential uh, in the end. Okay, uh, but of course, uh, safety, your safety, uh, client safety is uh, crucial in this time. Uh, what was implemented in order to make sure that everybody's safe and in order to make uh, the uh, transactions basically uh, go through? So there's the whole question uh, about the electronic signatures. I'll yeah. get to that shortly. Sure. I'll explain what I'm personally doing, which I think what most notaries are doing is instead of, um, we're trying to limit the amount of people in the meeting and trying to limit the amount of time. So essentially what happens when you purchase, there's two meetings at the notary. The first meeting is just the purchasers signing their mortgage and giving their down payment. Yeah. And then they have to come back a second time with the sellers uh, to sign the, the deed of sale. So what we're doing now is we're uh, having the purchasers do everything at that first meeting as well as signing the deed of sale so they don't have to come back. Okay. And then we just meet the sellers alone. We're also sending everything uh, beforehand uh, by email, all documentation and going over it on the phone as opposed to in person. Okay. We're asking clients to bring their own pen, come with gloves and masks that they have. And uh, we actually got a plexiglass in her conference room. Really? So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So a little colleague of mine, luckily her uh, her father is uh, bored at home and is able to uh, to work something yeah. up for us. So he uh, got that for us. So we're we're pretty safe. But the whole question of electronic signatures is a big one because yeah. uh, the profession has been trying to evolve. Well, trying. I mean, I think a lot of notaries would like for it to evolve. Um, and it's just difficult to, to implement it because of the foundation of, of the whole authentic deed and the conservation of it, the preservation of it. We keep it forever, uh, the original deed. So there's a temporary implementation right now for the signatures online. Uh, I'm currently on the waiting list for the installation, so I'm not doing it just yet. Uh, but it's been working. I spoke to colleagues who are using it. And it's definitely an option. So if you're not able to leave the home, if you are um, sick or if you have been in contact with someone who's sick and you can't step out, that could be an option for a notary who, has, uh, who is using it. But it's not mandatory. Not all notaries are using it. Okay. And how do you validate people's identity? Is it by, do they just send you the info? Do they have to come and meet with you? So they have to send us their pieces of identification before the video conference. Um, you're saying in the case of e-signatures or in any case? E-signatures. Yeah, so they'll have to send us their uh, identification beforehand 
and then uh, we would have, I think what it is, is because I'm, like I said, I'm still waiting for the training yeah. on it. Yeah. But so I think we would have to uh, then have a conference with them to confirm the identity before having the actual meeting for the signing. Okay, very good. And then once this, uh, this crisis is over and it will be over, you know, don't know when, but it will. Do you think? <laughs> do you, hopeful. You're hopeful. Do you think uh, this new implementations uh, will stay? Do you think like the online signatures is going to stay? Uh, how do you see things changing? So it's uh, like I said, temporary for now, and the order uh, made it very clear that it was temporary for the current situation. I personally think it might take some time to get to that permanently. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, it, it's, it's getting to that. You, we have no choice but to evolve with, uh, with time. And I think it will get to that. I just don't think that it will be shortly after. There's going to be a, a big period of adaptation, uh, sure. catching up to do. There might be things that got pushed back that are going to have to be taken care of. And I don't know if this permanent implementation is going to be um, something that's going to happen quickly. I, it, it is good, I think, that a lot of notaries who are stuck in older habits might, you know, in, including myself, even if I'm still considered a young notary, even practicing for five years, uh, you know, we're very much paperwork. So at least that maybe might help us progress a bit with the sending uh, just electronic copies. Um, but the e-signatures, we'll, we'll see where it takes us. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for giving me your time. I'm sure you're busy. Uh, and uh, and I guess if anybody needs any uh, work that needs to be done by a notary, I'll put your information on the bottom of the video. They could contact you. And uh, thanks again and uh, be safe. My pleasure. You too, Chai. Take care. Take care. Bye.